Hello, it's Brendan from Tech Buzz, and today we've got the AI Huddle uh, Mini Light from Kublo. Um, looks a nice little box here itself. It's got the features clearly defined in the background. It's a 4K uh, HD Frame Master, this Vision Master, and individual mode. That's kind of we don't always see that in the background, but we'll give a bit of a demo, a bit more idea on that. I have to say on those and it's general information and little things makes a difference one thing i'll say is the box is actually quite nice and um, it comes out get the information in the background and it's got a little opens up here um, to get the unit out and it's a nice little tidy box okay it's only a box but still it just gives it a little bit of a, a nice feeling when you do actually open it up and i suppose more importantly what you actually get get a quick start guide and we'll come back to that in a few moments and um, we get the unit. First thing you'll notice is we get a USB C um, power cable. So that just plugs into your, for example, your normal laptop and USB. We're always a fan of the USB C coming through standard. One thing you'll notice as well is on the cable itself, and I've seen other manufacturers, it's got its own brand logo on the cable. It gives a bit more sense of quality in the brand. This does not. So it's like a generic cable, uh, possibly made by the same brand there at the moment. You can also see. Little kinks on the cable here, which I've kind of bent it a little bit, but I wouldn't have expected it to be kind of um, noticeable on the cable. Um, probably 100% perfect, but I have been using it for a while, so it's gotten a little bit bashed around or whatever you want to call it. But, and again, just plugging this into the USB-C, works. On the bottom here as well, it's got your tripod stand, so you can just screw it in as normal, standard enough, um, or it can fit back in the back of the laptop. It is slightly heavier than some of you have used before, which means that when it's on the back of a laptop, for example, um, you can actually see the weight of it will on that. I like the, obviously this, when I originally touched this, I thought it was actually loose because that slide is so, so light. Um, and I had thought by shaking it, it would actually move, but it's not. It's a very smooth glide. A lot of other ones you've got to kind of, press down to push them over there and all that does is uh, your privacy mode that allows it and in essence what are you getting there at the moment it's a 4k at 30 frames per second uh, adjustable microphone pickup um, so it's got an audio microphone as well there um, and it's got digital by four um, and it's got a six meter range for the audio there and a field of view 120 degrees but we'll go into a bit more those details manual what does it tell us Straight away, pack and list. So obviously we get the camera, we've got the USB-C, we've got there. Overview, we've got a privacy switch we were talking about, the lens itself. Uh, indicator there, and the light does come on, and the clip in the background, and Type-C connector, which is the one on the back, uh, and the microphone's there as well. We'll come back to the Frame Master in a few moments, give you more of an example. Um, connection. In essence, what you can actually do is plug it directly just straight into the back of a laptop and it works. So for your Teams calls, for example, whether it's your, your Windows, your Mac, whether it's your MS Teams, Zoom, Skype, um, BlueJeans or FaceTime, for example, um, WebEx, there's a few different varieties that you can use them to see it. And that's just mechanically telling you how to set it up um, and the tripod installation. Then it goes off to its own software. You can download it from this particular software, it's Scythe. Um, one thing when I did do this, the first thing I noticed was my firewall trying to wobble it. Did not like it at all uh, for some reason. Two separate fire antiviruses tested it. I ran it through it there. Both came out perfect, but it was something that I don't always see in a lot of sites. It normally allows me to just download um, for some reason. didn't particularly like this, so I had to actually do it. Once you have it downloaded, you run the software and it gives you other configuration options uh, about through it. Um, specifications doesn't tell us too much at the moment, but it um, gives an idea the size, the dimensions, um, and obviously five USB. Strange on the quick start guide, it's got table of hazardous substances, uh, which is quite important stuff from a legal perspective. But I don't know what I wanted in the quick start guide um, and just general information about the address of the product itself. Um, so we'll give it a bit more of a demo. The other observation as well is um, when you're using it, you're setting it up, the first thing you probably do is read the expanded. So on the manual itself, it's got all the specifications if you want a bit more detail. But another observation, um, when you're looking at all the microphone, the type of microphone, the USB, all the camera there itself, 4K digital zoom. It's 
got lots of information. But when you go to actually download a manual, um, and use their own website, you click on the download, nothing happens. And again, the user's guide, you try and download the manual user guide. Now this is probably just a bug in the website there, but I don't like the idea of having a bug on a manual. Um, I know there is a chat option down here. I can connect directly to them. Um, it does inspire a huge amount of confidence straight away, but don't let that put us off too much just yet. Um, the one other quite observation is the what I said to you about the AI huddle. Sometimes I hear from the artificial intelligence, I actually think to myself, what does that really mean? And here's, I'll give you a demo in a few moments of that. I've now set it up to um, camera on. So I just basically plugged the camera in in the background. This is on just dual screen so you can see it clear. Put a camera in, plug it directly in, and I've actually ran their own software. So that gives you an idea of what you're actually seeing. But I'll go into the camera picture a bit more details in a moment. So I'm just going to zoom in directly on the camera itself. Just get clarification on the app itself. And now I'll come back into a bit more details. Just on the app itself, um, you can see on the different options. So the first thing is this feature settings there at the moment. Is, is this a group mode? Is this an individual? So I'm just going to click on the individual mode. It gives me different options, etc. Um, you can have a decision made or point of view. Um, and it gives you more options there. Okay, when you go back out here, I'm just moving going back. It allows you to do firmware upgrade. We're not going into that particular part there. We can go to the camera settings. So there's a couple of different settings we can actually use within here. We'll just go back over, we'll exit that. So when you go out, this is a mini light, it'll come back to. Going in here, you can see it's zooming in on myself. I'm just going to put a grid view there. And that's just giving me a bit more of an idea of when I'm demonstrating certain parts of what we can actually do. Now, turn the camera off and on from this particular part. Um, so there's different actually settings, I suppose, you can do. As it stands, the AI is not is being enabled. Okay, so I'm just temporarily going to take it off. You see the whole view of everything, and you see me moving around, and not in something. So I'm moving around everywhere, and you can see it's very stationary. So if I was in one particular spot, it would pick me up on that. What I'm now going to do is turn the AI back on again. Just going back to when I had the uh, enabled. You can see the 1690 uh, field of view at 120. So in other words, if I want to narrow the room down to a 90, say only half the amount, I could actually do it. Mirror the videos, lots of other settings in there. But we're going to turn the AI, and the reason the AI is quite good is because we get to see what it's actually doing. So we'll just put the grid lines on this just to see what's going on. So as I move over here, it's following me. And to put that in perspective, I'm going to stand out of the view as best I can. And I'm going to try and put a teddy. Whole idea of it is will it understand that I'm Teddy's not a human bear, it's human being. So it's actually if I can just take it out of the picture. So will it actually realise this teddy is not actually there? When I come over to here, and again with the teddy in my hand. It picks it up. So it does actually pick me even when I'm sometimes I'm hiding around it. And I'm moving fairly quickly. I have to say this is the one of the fastest response times I can actually see. Because it's actually picking me up very, very quickly and actually can understand that I'm moving around. And um, so sometimes you go to move your head down. I'm gonna move very slowly now. So from that perspective, you can see the movements. Having set this up now for an MS Teams call. Um, I've set it up there. You can still see it as I move around. You can actually see it. We're just going to do a custom set up. Um, we're just going to make a test call. So obviously the audio is here as well. So I'm going to call um, and I'm going to talk. I'm going to walk away from the main unit itself just to see can I actually pick up my voice? What's going on? Obviously I'm going to go out of sync because I won't see it, but I'll still be talking. I'm going to play back the recording because I have done this with lots of people and people were quite impressed that I could actually walk a little bit of a distance 
um, and then I'm just going to go record before I do it the microphone has been configured to the light audio uh, and the camera has been configured to the same thing there so this has been configured in the background so you can see the bottom right there and there that has actually done it itself in the background so we're just going to make a test call Your call quality. Record a short message after the beep. While walking away, then your message will be back to you. Testing one foot away, two foot away, three foot away, five foot away, six foot, seven, eight. Testing one foot away, two foot away, three foot away, five foot away, six foot. What if you're happy with the quality of your message, then you've configured Teams correctly. If not, check your device settings and try again. What I've done this on a variety of different calls with people um, and then sometimes it's nice to get your own back and um, your own voice back to see how it sounds because sometimes people might say walking away I'm very surprised with the quality of that the distance it'll come back so the call quality was quite good um, I've disabled the camper, camera temporarily just to not get confusion with the noise and um, anything else so just focusing on the audio I was able to walk and this says six meters there in the background I was able to walk to the end of the room back um, trying to do a couple of things and the call quality was very good so there was no issues whatsoever during the day um, i've walked around the unit so i won't say it's behind it but on the side deliberately keeping kind of going obviously at the back of it and not getting any audio but once i'm anyway forward to the front of it the audio quality is quite good and that just gives a quick perception of when you're on a call which a normal microphone from the laptop for example is if i walk more than three or four foot away you're in their heads in a dustbin for example people can't hear you happy enough with that that different people can actually talk at the same time and the quality is actually there as an overall couple of things with the the unit itself my first observations is the ai actually does work and it's very very clear about zoom in zoom out when moving around when I pull the teddy bear in just to see will it get fake, will it pick it up? It didn't, it was quite quick. So it is one of the fastest there. Slight niggles in the sense of I'm not crazy in the USB-C cable itself, the quality of it just seems a bit to me ropey there. Not being able to download the manual itself um, on the website, very, very minor details. Um, unusual, just the, I suppose the terminology that's quite used is, as a simple thing, kind reminder. It's used a few times and um, it's not usually something that we would remove the from the cover. It's not usually something that this particular unit doesn't come with a carry case, which is something if I do, because a lot of calls I have, I actually take it in a laptop bag, I throw it into a laptop bag. I like the idea there's only one cable that'll connect. It is universal as in it will connect to example a it will connect directly to a tripod stand, no issues whatsoever. And it generally works without a problem there connection obviously you don't need to download the software the software itself um, works its own software but it's not a huge amount of features that i would know so it would, would have been nice to put the audio into it as well just to see if you wanted to change the audio with its own thing it does give the instructions the quick start guide is actually not bad um i have to say it's got all the basic information and what i was showing you earlier on about the frame master the vision master was kind of giving you the individual mode etc to see as i said connection is very very simple in theory usb cable directly and plug it into the laptop i had a lot teams calls without using any of the software etc on that so that actually worked quite well overall it's got all the main key features you will run um on the top of the unit itself it's got the privacy camera which you can just pull backwards and forwards there it's got the 4k and um, it's got an optional couple of other options on itself on that um, and that's the general spec of it itself the frame thing is actually quite and as i mentioned the ai fastest i've ever seen any the the camera is moving and often what it can normally trick them with a teddy bear to say they follow they zoom in on something that looks like a face and it kind of follows it there it hasn't so it's quite clever on that and that's very good so having a few people in a room kind of picks it up it's it's quite good feels comfortable solid enough um and um thank you for watching for the ai huddle mini light from cupola and um, thank you for watching tech buzz Ireland.